name, name and address for Rick. Karen Stepaherko, 25 Highland Drive, Wester. Uh, the credit rating and the debt. Um, after recent review, I would like to note that the S&P rating is an A rating. Honestly, that is still at the middle of the bottom of the long-term investment grade credit rating. Mm -hmm. The S&P rating specifically reflects the increase of taxes by 37% in 2004 and another 27.2% in 2009 as positive moves, moves by management. As I recall, the 2009 increase was conveniently blamed on the city firefighters but apparently had an upside to it. The burden of the city's debt services is weighed strictly on the taxpayer's shoulders. Let us ask for the purpose of the argument. What did the citizens get for these increases in taxes? We received an A credit rating. So in essence, we are paying for the ability for the city government to borrow more money at a decent rate. In exchange for this financial salvation, not to disbarge the efforts of city employees. We have fewer fire stations and firefighters, police with fewer usable vehicles, and a stagnant road maintenance program outside of liquid fuels funding paving road work. With the anticipating decline in community development with block grant funds, I see only a downward continued trend in taxpayer services in our future. In short, bottom line, the taxpayers of cities of the city have given up essential services in exchange for the ability of the mayor to fund projects. One can say this increased development in jobs, but the development is not creating long-term sustainable jobs, only short-term construction work. These tax increases cannot continue and frankly have created a negative impact. Families continue to move out of the city. The city population is listed at 41,433. But how many of these citizens actually have a job to pay the local income tax or own property to pay property tax? If you would research this information, you'd be very surprised on how many actually paid the taxes out of the population. I took note in the S&P report that there is a forecasted increase in assessed property value by management due to ongoing development expansions. Outside of sheer optimism, I'd like to know where this information has come from. Likewise, as mentioned by S&P, in the current economic climate, I do not see an increase in median households effectively buying income. As I mentioned at the last council meeting, as of 2010, our long-term debt stands at $100,857,626. Mm -hmm. Of this, $73,451,607 is principal with $27,406,019 in interest. This figure has grown $40 million in the last eight years, an average of $5 million per year. I have no doubt in my mind that as of 2012, this number is actually higher. Our yearly debt service currently averages in excess of $8 million per year. This figure is projected to remain generally constant through 2025. I do not know if management mentioned it, but if anyone here does the math, the effective aggregate interest rate on the city's debt as stated in the 2010 audit is 37%. So read faster, right? I was told at the last council meeting this debt was all backed. Backed by what? Backed by parking fees? Backed by real estate leases? If so, why does the figures only grow? Never contracting as service debt does as it's paid down. I noted also in the S&P report that there have been general fund drawdowns in recent years. It is noted that even with a balanced budget, management anticipates adding to reserves. Will this come from refinancing debt? More op optimistic thinking, I believe. In speaking of reserves, S&P notes that the city is bringing in eight to nine million dollars per year more than they are spending, maintaining a reserve. If the city is running a budget surplus of eight to nine million per year, where are these funds going? Debt services? Projects? With this thought in mind, you are set to vote on refinancing several million dollars that are due now, actually May, I believe, correct? May of this year? When are, when are the bonds due to be paid? The, um, well, they're throughout the year. Which bonds are you The ones that about? you're refinancing. The ones that we're refinancing? Yeah, in <coughs> It's May. You said there were two bonds that were due in May that you were refinancing. 
Yes. Karen, it's no, they're callable. They don't even know. They're callable. Okay. What? Since two, I only have a short. It's May. Since 2007, so why were no provisions made to pay off any of this debt if we were running surpluses? How will this cost? How will this be cost savings that is being put to the taxpayers? When will we be paying more interest on debt that should be in the process of being retired? We are all simply doing in exchanging one maxed out credit card for another. With the current state of the economy and the way people are moving out of the city of Wilkes-Barre, where does the mayor think he is going to get this money where it comes time to pay? He has bond issues, bonds due in May, and instead of paying them, he's refinancing them. We are refinancing for a lower rate to make lower payments when we should be looking at paying down our debt, not adding or keeping it longer. In closing, the city of Wilkes-Barre is in very dangerous, most unattainable position. For years, we have been getting by paycheck by paycheck. If we have just one of these tenant deals up at Cole Street goes sour, can you say call center? The piper will come calling with the repossession notice. Then it will be 41,000 plus paying the bill, not just one guy on the fourth floor of City Hall. Thank you. Anybody wish to comment? Um, the only thing is on the 2007 uh, refinancing, the debt is callable at that time. It's not due. So we're getting a we're refinancing to get a lower interest rate to save money. Um, we wouldn't be in, we wouldn't be paying the bonds off now. I don't have the debt schedules in front of me, but. Um, so is it the interest that's due in May? No. No. Okay. I There's a, a little back and forth. The way, uh, well, go, go the way the bonds work are that there are payments due, depending on the schedule, I don't have it in front of me. But um, there's probably an in interest payment and a principal payment due this year, okay? The, you hit a point after the bond is um, let that you can possibly refinance if the interest rates What's allow. What's the to refinance In other words, if it makes sense to do so. Mm -hmm. And this date of May 15th this year is the callable date that you could possibly refinance for the first time. That's what that is. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.